Custer State Park is known for its massive bison herd. But there are plenty of other creatures up and at it early. That is the advantage of hitting the road early. Prime time for wildlife viewing. Whoa, 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 Jack, look at this, look at this. We got turkeys, a ton of them. This is why you take the back roads right here. Wild turkeys will congregate in flocks or rafters of up to 40 or 50 birds to protect against predators. They're loud and usually fast, but right now we're at a bit of a standoff. All right, they're back and off. I think it's pretty obvious that the animals kind of run the show around Yeah, here. right. He's having his breakfast. Oh, do you see that? He's looking right at us. He's staring All right, at we've us. been spotted. The 18-mile wildlife loop road through Custer State Park is perfect for spotting all kinds of animals. Oh, oh, we got pronghorn. All right, we're looking at almost 30 of these guys. Pronghorn, endemic to America, are not found anywhere else in the world. Large eyes and fantastic vision help them spot predators from a long distance. Being the fastest land mammal in North America helps too. Oh, 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 oh we got, we got a, a standoff. Oh, man. Oh, they are locked in. During their fall mating season called the rut, bucks will defend their territory aggressively. We literally have this one pronghorn who's just starting stuff with everybody. He's taking on the bigger males with antlers. He looks like he's in a little bit over his head. Most encounters end with one of the pronghorn being chased off. That is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. But you see all those big brown spots up there? They're hard to miss. You we know got what? some bison. Yeah, out. that's exactly what I'm thinking. Bison have been roaming this area since prehistoric times. They are the symbol of the Dakotas and are sacred to the native Lakota people. Holy cow. We have so many bison right here. What, 100 right here, 100 oh, yeah. more over there? This was an animal that was hunted down almost to extinction. And now there's a ton of them. A hundred years ago, this herd started with just 36 bison. Today, due to careful management by the park, it's nearly 1,500 strong. And the bison have company. Look at the little prairie dog in front of them, too. Oh my gosh, look at them. You can hear them, too. You hear the prairie dogs? Oh yeah. This is so neat to see. These tiny little prairie dogs, the size of house cats, and then all these buffalo, some probably the size of your car and they're just walking right next to each other. Blacktail prairie dogs weigh just one to three pounds. Their brown fur blends in with the burrows they dig close together in communities called towns. That guy must be the scout. He's just standing up, yep. just looking, scanning. And then when he sees something, he just goes rah, rah, rah. And then it, the whole community just erupts with barking. And that's partly where they get their name, Prairie Dog, is their bark. <laughs> it's not that deep, but it echoes. We could watch the animals in Custer State Park all day, but we've got another destination ahead of us. Let's go. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.